In this video, we are going to see a new characteristic of Entity Framework Core 5.0, and that is that we can model many-to-many -many relationships without having an intermediate class. Before, it was necessary that intermediate class, but now that is not required anymore. So let's see an example of that. Here I have a project that is a console application that is configured with .NET 5, and as you can see, the only package that I have installed is Microsoft Entity Framework Core does SQL Server 5.0. And here I have this code here. I have two classes, genre and movie. And as you can imagine, I want to model a many-to-many -many relationship between these two models because a movie can have many genres like action and drama. And a genre can belong to many movies, like there can be several movies that are of the action genre. So we will model that in this video. And below that, I have this application DB context, which is configured to use SQL Server. We are going to log the queries that come from Entity Framework Core into the console. And here I have the genres and movies tables configured. So here we are always creating a new database with each run of the program. So if I press Control F5, you are going to see that we have the code here and you can see that we have create table genres and create table movies. So let's model that many to many relationship. In EF Core 5, this is really easy. We can just do it by putting a list here of movie, let's say movies, and here a list of genres. So let's say list genre and genres here. And that's actually it. With this, Entity Framework Core is going to create a joint table that is going to model the many-to-many -many relationship. Let's see an example of that. Let's run again our application, and instead of only creating two tables, we are going to see that we have a new table, which is the genre movie table, which has the columns genres IDs and movies IDs, and we have a composite primary key which are genres ID and movies ID. And of course, we have some foreign keys for data integrity. And this was done by Entity Framework Core 5 by me putting this list of movies here and this list of genres here. So let's use this. Let's come here and we're going to create some data. I will create some genres like drama, action, and animation. And I will also create some movies like Avengers, Spider-Man, and Inception. And as you can see, we are populating the genres list with action here, and here Spider-Man with action and animation, and Inception with drama. And now what I'm going to do is that I am going to insert this data in our database. So for that, I will say contest at range, and I will put everything before this line of code in here and then I'm saying save changes and if I press Control F5 you can see that we have that we're inserting the genres and we're inserting the movies and we're also inserting the genre movie. Now let's use that. Let's make some queries. I will copy this and I will paste this here because I want to use a new application DB contest so that we are starting from a clean state. And also, let me say console clear, just so that we don't have this code in the console. So the first thing that I will do is that I will say movies with genres. I want to get all the movies with their genres. So I will say context, movies, and I will say include, so that I can include the related data. So I will say genres here, and I will say to list. Now I want to print this in the console, so I will create a helper method for that. So let me come down here and I will paste this code. And as you can see, this is called print movies and I will iterate every movie. I will put the title on the screen and the genre. So let's come here and let me say print movies and movies with genres. And I will press Control F5 to run our application one more time. And here, as you can see, we have the query, which is using our genre movie table. And here we have the result, which is the three movies and their genres. Now, let's make this a little bit more interesting. Let me comment this out and let me create a new query. 
let's say that I want to bring only those movies that have the action genre. How do we do that? For that, we can use a word clause. So let's say action movies, and I will say context.movies.include, and I will say genres, and let's say here where, and I will say movie, movie.genres.select, and I will say genre, genre name, and I can say contains, and I can say action. So I am bringing all the movies, all the movies which have the action genre. Now I can say to list here, and that's actually it. I can print movies and say action movies, and I'll press Control F5. And as you can see, we only have these movies, Avengers and Spider-Man, because those are the two only movies that have the action genre. Inception didn't have that genre, so it wasn't part of the result. Now let me close this and let me make yet another query. The next query will be all movies but bring only those genres that start with the letter A. So I will say movies and genres that start with A. I will say context.movies and I will say include. And this is something that is new in Entity Framework Core 5.0 and is that we can make filters here in include because I only want to bring those genres that start with the letter A. So I will say movie, movie.genres.where and I will say genre, genre name starts with the letter A and I will say to list and I will print this. I will say movies and genres and we're missing a parenthesis here and that's it. Let's press control F5. And as you can see, we have all the movies, but only those genres that start with the letter A, like action and animation. We didn't have drama for Inception because drama starts with the letter D. Now, what if we only want movies that have a genre that does not start with the letter A? That is a nice challenge. Let's do it. Let's comment this out and let me say here this variable equal to context.movies.include I want to include the genres I will say x genres and I will say where and I will say movie and let me say movie.genres.where and I want to say genre here genre name starts with the letter A and I want to say here dot count count bigger than zero and I want to say to list here. So I am saying here, bring all the movies that has a genre that does not start with A. And we need to negate this so that we're saying the genres that does not start with the letter A. We have to say bigger than zero so that we can have a predicate here. And that's actually it. Now I can say print movies and movies with genres. And let me say Control F5 to run our application. And now, as you can see, we only have the movie Inception because that is the only movie that has a genre that does not start with the letter A. So as you can see, in Entity Framework Core 5, we have some new characteristics like being able to do a many-to-many -many relationship without having, without using an intermediate class. And also we can do filtering in the include clause. Something else that we can do with the many to many is to customize that intermediate table movie genre that was created. We will see that next.